So now that we have inserted a sprite and a picture into our game, uh, you can see that it doesn't respond to any of our key presses or mouse movements or anything. So that's not really a game so far. So what we want to do now is make it interact with the user a little bit. So what we're going to do is under the create function here, we're going to let Phaser know that we want it to detect key presses. So let's um, create some uh, variables. The first thing we're going to do is, if you guys remember, last lesson we inserted our ship, but we actually didn't give the object a name. So to give it a name, what we want to do is we want to say, for example, we want to say player equals. Okay, so in the future, whenever we use the variable player, we can just type player dot something and we will be referring to our player object. Okay, so um, right now what I want to do is I want to um, <clears throat> make uh, Phaser look for uh, keyboard presses. So I'm going to create four variables. I'm going to call them up key, down key, left key and right key okay so basically four variables and each variable is going to be uh, referring to the keyboard keys so I'm gonna go game dot input dot keyboard dot add key bracket phaser dot keyboard Dot, um, up. So what this does is it lets Phaser know that whenever the user presses this key right here, which is the up key, whenever the user presses this key, okay, it's going to um, register that and whenever we want something to do with the up key we will refer to it using this variable name okay so again I'm gonna copy and paste this part here paste it with every one of them but instead of the up key I'm gonna change it to down um, left and right okay so then it's gonna register for these keys Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to say what happens when these keys are pressed. And that's going to occur in the update function because the update function checks for input from the user. So I'm going to say if the up key is down, in other words, we're holding it down. Okay, if the up key is down, what happens is, okay, what we want to happen, we're going to put it in this line. So if you remember our player object, we're going to set the Y coordinate of the player object to player.y minus 1. So what that means is, um, Whenever I hold down the up key, the Y coordinate, which is a property of the player object, which we have defined up here, the Y coordinate is going to subtract 1 from what it was before. So if you press F12 to test it, you will see that nothing happens when you press any other key, but if you press the up key, the plane moves up. Okay, so similarly, we're going to copy this if statement. Oops, we're going to copy this if statement four times. Okay, copying it four times, and we're going to say um, if the down key is pressed, what happens? If the left key is pressed, what happens? And if the right key is pressed, what happens? 
So if the down key is pressed, what happens is instead of subtracting one from its y coordinate, we're going to plus one because plus one means that it will be moving downwards and then um, when we press the left and the right key instead of changing the y coordinate we're going to change the x coordinate okay so when you press the left key the x coordinate will subtract one because it's moving to the left and when you press the right key the x coordinate will plus one because it's moving to the right okay so remember in phase up okay positive x is to the right negative x is to the left but in the y direction um, downwards is positive and upwards is negative okay so it's opposite the y coordinate direction is opposite to what you learned in high school okay so if we save that um, test it out Okay, you will now get a game where you can move up, down, left, right. Um, a little bit too slow, but um, you can change that number. So instead of plus one, you can say plus minus two. Okay, and that should speed up the speed up the uh, airplane a little bit. So it's now a little bit faster. And let's stop here for this tutorial and we'll keep going with the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.